In this video, we are going to talk about using Slickedit's Selective Display dialog to collapse preprocessed code. You may also want to watch the other videos in the Selective Display playlist. To bring up the Selective Display dialog, go to View, Selective Display. Click the Preprocessor Directives radio button. By default, this will collapse code that is if zeroed and collapse the preprocessor directives for code that is if one. So you will still see the code, but not the preprocessor directives. When we click OK, you'll notice that we are warned about other values that were not defined. In this case, check bottom right corner and have get height. They were assumed to be zero. Let's take a look at what is collapsed. Here's a piece of pound if zeroed code that was collapsed entirely. And here's a piece of pound if one code where only the preprocessor directive was collapsed, but the code is still viewable. If we look at the code for pound if check bottom right corner, it's collapsed completely because that was assumed to be zero. Let's try it again, but we'll fill in values for the defines. Just click the Scan for Defines button. For check bottom right corner, we'll put a 1. And for have get height, we'll leave that 0. When we click OK, you can see that all of the preprocessor directives themselves are hidden. We can see the code and check bottom right corner. And the code in have get height is collapsed altogether. To return to a normal view, you can go to View, Show All. You could also bind the command Show Dash All to a key. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com slash trial.